let me start with some um, very good news. This is the time of year when we have um, uh, are beginning to post the data from the previous academic year. Um, we include summer session in the prior academic year, so we don't actually know our full graduation rates until after the summer when we see who might have finished up. Um, and in this case, one of the most remarkable results is at UH Manoa. Um, I think you've all heard the common mythology that it is impossible to graduate from UH Manoa in four years. I will report to you that the latest data uh, shows that 32.1% of the students who enrolled in 2011, first time full-time freshmen, indeed graduated in four years. So um, that's not only a respectable number, but it's an amazing increase. That number was uh, about 17.5% uh, just five years ago. So from 17.5% up to 32.1%. Um, there were also increases in the five and six year graduation rates, uh, smaller, but um, this really demonstrates that it is possible and I want to credit um, I happen to be the interim chancellor the day I get to share the good news, um, but this is the hard work of the people at Manoa, the department chairs, the faculty uh, who have worked on pathways and ensuring that we're offering the courses, some of the advising tools available to students, the 15 to finish campaign to help students and their parents understand uh, the need to enroll in a full time load beyond what the federal government calls full-time. Just a whole host of activities by advisors, faculty, and staff uh, to make it so. There is still a lot to do, and in particular, the retention numbers, uh, we need to continue work on those. Uh, but um, this is really amazing progress. I'm, I've asked the um, Manoa IR Institutional Research Office to check around, but I don't know that anywhere in the country has achieved growth this substantial in this short a period of time. Um, a quick report on a few new uh, policies. These are executive policies, so these are not brought to the board for approval, but some of them uh, are matters that have come before you over the past year or two. One is we updated the executive policy on graduate assistance. Uh, much of this policy, the new policy, addresses some of the concerns that have been raised by the graduate student organization over the past couple of years. Um, it certainly doesn't address all of the concerns, but it, it does address some of them. Um, we also have a new executive policy on student fees. Um, this doesn't change or raise fees, but it organizes and clarifies that section of policy. For example, um, to make it clear that if you are a UH West Oahu student on the island of Maui, you don't have to pay the transportation fee, which covers bus services available only to students physically at UH West Oahu. Um, and so we, we've, um, we've made that clear in terms of which fees apply to which students, uh, regardless of which island they're on and how many campuses they may be attending. Um, we've also updated the executive policy to allow concentration names on diplomas. So this is something that has been really important, again, particularly at West Oahu, um, where, um, for example, if you get a, a Bachelor of Applied Science or a BAS, uh, they want to be able to add the concentration uh, to say something like it's in information assurance, um, which helps them when they're competing for uh, jobs in the fast-growing cybersecurity field. Um, we also have a new executive policy on preferred names. So this may seem subtle, but um, this is something that's really helpful that our um, LGBTQ plus uh, coalition has requested uh, when people have not changed their legal names but wish to be referred to by another name. Uh, it's also useful for uh, Native Hawaiians who are using a Hawaiian name rather than um, a Caucasian name. Um, it could even help um, Roberts who go by Bob or uh, not. So um, this is begins to push out for our students into our information systems. Uh, yesterday, a small group of, uh, of us from the administration met with the governor and his leadership team to um, review our proposed bills that we would like the governor to support. Um, we can actually get 
legislators to introduce bills for us, but we prefer to um, include them as part of the governor's package and it gives them a little bit of additional emphasis. I won't go through all of them. Most of them are housekeeping related matters, restoration of rights that we used to have but lost in what I'll call the dark years at the legislature, um, a couple of provisions that sunsetted, but I'll mention a few that I think are meaningful. Uh, probably the most important one is the establishment of a new Hawaii Promise Program. I think most of you are familiar um, with the movement around the country uh, to promote free tuition or debt-free college. Um, we actually had a bill introduced last year to provide, and I don't think Regent Iha introduced this, uh, to provide free tuition for all community college students on Kauai. Um, and instead, we've taken an approach uh, to propose uh, to eliminate uh, ability to afford tuition and direct costs as a barrier to higher education, starting with the community colleges. So the proposed Hawaii Promise Program would essentially be a new scholarship program that would address the unmet need of qualified students at any UH community college um, who qualify for resident tuition, complete the FAFSA, the federal financial aid, and enroll in a classified degree or certificate program with six or more credits. Um, this would be a first come first serve basis. We're requesting two and a half million dollars a year for this program. Uh, based on our data, that's um, over what we currently have, but we think it will be an incentive to enrollment as well. And this would be a last dollar scholarship. So, and that's really key. Our goal is to not replace federal funds or provide funding to students who are assessed as able to pay, but rather provide funding targeted at students who are unable to pay and have not been awarded other forms of uh, financial aid. Second one is uh, prohibition against smoking. I think mo on our UH campuses, I think as most of you know, uh, the state of Hawaii raised the smoking age to 21. Um, we have many students on our campuses who are under 21. There is a prohibition in statute from smoking on at DOE schools, and we would like to extend that to university campuses. Uh, we're also in discussions with our um, uh, this is something we have to consult on with unions, but we think a statutory prohibition would be stronger for us. Um, we have two bills that we are recommending, These, uh, one of which is a repeat to stimulate our, uh, support our Hawaii Innovation Initiative. And both of them are around the creation of startup companies involving uh, UH intellectual property and or UH faculty. Um, and we think we can get, uh, we will continue to get support. We almost made it last year, but not quite. Um, we think that one of the uh, hurdles has been cleared through some changes at the legislature, and we're expecting strong support from the Hawaii Business Roundtable, including our speaker who will be here shortly. I didn't notice if he came in already. Um, and, and maybe I'll stop there. The rest of them are, um, as I mentioned, housekeeping, we're trying to repeal some of the annual reporting requirements for reports that are essentially one sentence content free reports that we are still required by statute to submit in quadruplicate. Um, so um, we believe the governor will be supporting most of these bills. He has not yet finalized his package, so we're trying to get in there. Um, quick update on our uh, chancellor searches. Um, I was unfortunately optimistic last month. Um, I did not receive the UH West Oahu Search Committee report when I expected, but I did get it uh, last week. Um, as a result, I was obviously unable to provide a recommendation for posting today. Um, however, um, I do believe we will make next month, so I have the committee report in hand. and. Um, and proceeding based on that recommendation and exercising my due diligence. Um, UH Manoa, um, I was also a little bit too optimistic. Uh, there was a bit of a wrinkle in consume, um, confirming the finalists. Um, we will be announcing next week public visits by finalists. Uh, those will then take place in November rather than October. Um, based on that, I think uh, December is unlikely but not impossible. Um, so I will move as quickly as possible. 
I can assure you that the interim chancellor is highly motivated to uh, fill the position in a timely manner, but only well. And I am committed to um, ensuring success. And in the meantime, um, I think the people at UH Manoa and at West Oahu can assure you that the interim chancellors are vigorously pursuing their duties. Um, so now, um, it's my very great pleasure to announce we have two awards to present today, and we have the awardees here. Um, first, let me mention the Willard Wilson Award. And so what we'll do is I'll um, share some remarks from here, and then we'll present lay certificate with myself and the board chair. Um, the Willard Wilson Award for Distinguished Service to the University um, recognizes exemplary service by any faculty or staff member of the university. Uh, it was established by the board, so this is the board's award in 1969 to honor typically a longtime UH employee, um, and uh, it honors Willard Wilson, who was, in fact, a longtime UH employee and secretary to the board. Uh, we have, in fact, um, uh, Regent Eha is a former recipient, or I guess not a former recipient, was a recipient of this award in his past life. Um, and the 2015 recipient is um, UH Hilo professor um, Mitch Anderson, who is here somewhere. Thank you. So Mitch is a proud UH Hilo alum. He's worked in the math department for 28 years. He's the leader for the campus when it comes to preparing de uh, departments for program review, been influential and supportive in all the WASP mandated assessment processes for his campus, instrumental in cre creating the program review advisory committee to strengthen faculty governance and morale. Um, and he provides institutional memory for many of these pro processes. Um, he's also been instrumental in his work in developing the Hawaii Statewide High School Mathematics Curricula to align with the uh, Common Core State Standards, which Hawaii has uh, adopted, uh, and his leadership in developing curriculum content, doing this from within UH, um, has huge implications at the national level, but it helps us with our pathways to ensure that the high school students who graduate from DOE schools, um, I'll say it improves the likelihood that they are prepared for college math. Um, we're still not all the way there yet, but we have been a model in curricular alignment um, across the nation for the work we have done between the DOE and the entire UH system. His colleagues describe him as hardworking and an original thinker, an enthusiastic doer, but always quick to acknowledge the contributions of others and a true leader with a big heart and a ready smile. So thank you, Mitch, for your service to the university and the state. And next we have the President's Award for Excellence in Buildings and Ground Maintenance. It's given to an individual who has exhibited sustained superior performance in maintenance, including landscaping, custodial, or trucking positions. Um, and this year's recipient is from right here at Kapiolani Community College, uh, David Apostol. David? Clearly the hometown favorite. <laughs> David is a painter here, uh, and according to his glowing recommendations, David goes above and beyond the required job responsibilities, working tirelessly to ensure that this is a beautiful campus, and it is, often working on weekends so he's not inconveniencing the students and faculty. Um, he's described as humble, committed team player who cares deeply about his colleagues, and a consummate professional with a positive can-do attitude. He's praised for his initiative in taking the lead on campus projects and promoting a proud sense of community among all he works with. Congratulations, David, and thanks. Right. For That's one of the best parts of this job.